Today we're going to be focusing on the Cocker Spaniel. Today we'll be taking a look at some of the health problems that are more common with this breed and what may affect the length of their life expectancy. It can be tough thinking of the end of life for these adorable pups, but it's important to know what could be ahead as early as possible so that you can prepare. Welcome back to the Fenrir Spaniel Show. If you're new here, my name's Charlie and I'm a certified canine leader here at FenrirCanineLeaders.com. This channel is dedicated to teaching you everything you need to know about Spaniels. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell so that you never miss a future upload. So let's dive in. Cocker Spaniels are, in general, a healthy breed with life expectancy of around 11 to 12 years. This is an average and so you can be hopeful that with all going well, you can definitely hope for more years than that. As with all breeds, there are varying elements that can affect life expectancy from hereditary to congenital conditions to diet. Some issues are specific to cockers, whereas others can be wider conditions or infections that can flare up from day-to-day -day issues. Let's start with how we can help spot and prevent infections. For cocker spaniels, one of the main areas is one of the most iconic features, their ears. Although the longer part of their ear is there to protect the inner ear, they still need a lot of attention as this is prone to a lot of infections. To help prevent this, it's important to make sure that you thoroughly clean their ears whenever they get wet, as the moisture can lead to infection. Trimming their ears can help too, as it will get rid of any pesky bits of dirt or grass. In fact, all grooming is really important preventive work to fight infection and other pains. Hey guys, sorry to interrupt the video. I just wanted to quickly let you know, if you didn't know already, I have a completely free course on the principles of canine behavior. As a canine behaviorist, I've put this together with my years of experience, skill set, and knowledge to help you understand all the areas of canine behavior that are important for you to become a high level canine leader. And then you can fix your dog's problems behaviors at home or maybe take the first steps into working with dogs with problem behaviors so again if you want to check out that course it's completely free of charge the principles of canine behavior there'll be a link down in the description box below and I can't wait to see you over on that course Cocker Spaniels need a lot of attention paid to grooming their coats to prevent matting. Even missing a day's brush can cause problems. Any knots or matting in their coat can lead to skin infections or painful conditions which will need medical attention. Signs of infection can be redness, swelling or a bad odour. The earlier that you're able to spot these issues, the easier they'll be to maintain. Your regular grooming can also help you check for any lumps or abnormalities that can be a sign of other health conditions. For Cocker Spaniels, the most common health issue that leads to death is cancer. According to a survey taken by the Kennel Club, it is the cause of 30% of deaths in this breed. Ways of spotting cancer early can be finding lumps or bumps or swelling under the skin. Also, any abnormal odours or discharge from mouths or any other parts of the body may be signs. These signs can be similar to those of skin infections, so sometimes requesting an x-ray can help to put your mind at ease if you're particularly worried. It's possible to prepare for other hereditary health conditions as they can be picked up through scans when your pup is young. Finding out about the health of the parents is really important and can help you prepare for any problems that they may pass down. Scans and health schemes can pick up conditions such as hip dysplasia which is common in many breeds of dog. This occurs when the thigh bone doesn't fit snugly into the hip socket which will as you can imagine result in a lot of pain and discomfort. Many dogs become lame in one or both of their rear legs, so you need support in how to properly continue caring for your dog if this is the case. Other issues that can be picked up through screening are eye problems. These adorable huge eyes can melt the hardest of hearts, can also be susceptible to quite a variety of conditions. Glaucoma and progressive retinal atrophy are two of these conditions and they can lead to blindness. If you spot any redness or signs of discomfort in their eyes, take them along to the vet for a checkup and second opinion. Luckily, dogs can live full and extremely happy lives if they are blind, as their other senses step up to help them out. Although, just make sure you don't have a huge spring clean and move the furniture around, as that will result in a lot of bumps. Keep everything in the same place throughout their lives as their sight deteriorates. This will help them become accustomed easier. 
I briefly mentioned at the start about a diet affecting your pup's lifespan. Cocker Spaniels love their food and will eat anything that is in front of them, so it's up to you to monitor their weight and protect them from becoming obese. Your dog's chest should always be wider than their abdomen, and you should be able to see the shape of their waist. Also, if they're panting when walking or taking more naps than usual, this can be a sign of obesity. If this is the case, you need to reassess their diet and cut down any treats to healthier alternatives to help them out. Obesity is a serious problem and can shorten their lifespan by multiple years as it will affect their joints, hearts and bones, especially if your dog is still young and growing. All of this can be very overwhelming to hear, especially if you're a first time owner, but remember there are plenty of professionals who can help you out and provide support. Getting as much information as you can from your breeder will really help you out as well as keeping in close contact with your vet. If anything is concerning you, then a quick checkup may be expensive, but can also help you sleep that little bit easier at night. So I hope you've enjoyed today's video. If so, make sure you hit that like button and get involved down on the comments section below. And don't forget, if you are new here, to make sure you subscribe. We have two dedicated Spaniel videos coming here every single week. So I can't wait to talk to you again on the next episode of the Fenrir Spaniel Show.